Once you have the pump adjusted correctly and it's dispensing the proper amount of oil for your machine, we can go ahead and bring the kettle back up to the level position. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and fill your salt uh, kind of corn bin up. Again, this is a resealable corn bin, so it's going to, when you close that and, and lock the uh, cover in place, it'll seal the bin tight so the, it, it won't allow the corn to dry out. We're going to go ahead and fill it up. This bin will hold 50 pounds of corn. Okay. Then you want to take your salt container. We're going to fill that salt container up too. You can place that down in the corn bin. Just There's a little uh, hook here which will allow you to hook it to the edge of the bin. I'm going to go ahead and set it in place. And then go ahead and fill it up with your Creter's uh, flavored butter salt. Okay. And then you can snap your bin and of course you can close your uh, drawer back up. I'm going to go ahead and get my corn measure and my salt measure. Now when we go to pop corn you want to fill your corn measure up first. And tilt this back open. Go ahead and scoop your corn out. Now you want to fill this corn measure up to the lower line here. Make sure that it's level. You don't want to tilt it and fill it all the way up because that's going to put too much corn in there. So when you fill it up, fill it up to the lower line, the lower lip here. Take your salt scoop. You can go ahead and put a scoop of salt in there. Again, you can vary that to taste. If you want more salt, you can put a little more salt or less salt, you can put less. Now I want to go ahead and turn all my switches on for popcorn production. Go ahead and turn my corn conditioner on, exhaust, my agitator, and my kettle heat. And again, you'll see the kettle heat, the digital control is going to blink. Once it senses the temperature of the kettle, it's going to display it. And if it's set below the set point, if the temperature is below the set point, you'll see the indicator light coming on to indicating that the kettle's heating. So at this point, I want to put my corn in first. Then I want to go ahead and press my push button there to deliver the oil into the kettle. You always want to put in corn in first, oil second. That'll just reduce the chances of a, of a flash fire. You want to make sure you do those uh, procedures in the correct order. So I'm going to go ahead and put my corn in. I'm going to go ahead and press my push button here. I can hear the pump running and I can see my oil being dispensed into the kettle there. At that point you want to go ahead and close your lid. And at the, right now you can see the kettle starting to climb up in temperature. If I'm going to do another popping you want to go ahead and get another scoop of corn ready so that once we dump it out we can add the corn in there uh, to do the next popping cycle. As this thing climbs up in temperature what we're going to be looking for is the, the kettle to, to finish popping and, uh, about 10 to 20 seconds before we're dumping the kettle. Uh, when we, the machine is shipped from the factory, uh, we set the set point at 390 degrees and you can check that by pressing the button that says set. It's going to show you the set point of the, the kettle which is at 390 right now. And what that means is that once the kettle cycles up and we hit 390, at that point the kettle heat will shut off. There's enough residual heat in the kettle to finish off the popping cycle uh, and we want that set that way. Uh, we don't want it shutting off after we're done popping. We always want it shutting off before we're done popping, roughly about 10 to 20 seconds. You do have the ability to adjust the temperature up or down. Uh, you press the set button and there's up and down arrow keys here which will allow you to make some adjustments because there are some variables with the different types of corn and also the voltage uh, that's at your location. If it's running a little bit low, you may want to increase the temperature just a couple of degrees just to compensate for that.
but we do allow you to make an adjustment, uh, some slight adjustments in the temperature. So as this kettle's heating here, I kind of want to go over some of the other features in this machine here. Uh, the first thing you see are, are these two plexi doors uh, on the machine. Uh, you want to make sure you keep them closed when we have corn inside this machine. That's going to allow the corn conditioner, the heating system in this machine here, keep the, the, to dry that corn out and keep that corn uh, dry and crispy. Uh, also allow it to stay warm in that cabinet. They are lift off plexi doors. If you need to remove them for cleaning, and then just slide them back in place. I'm going to go ahead and open it up so I can cover some of the other features here. The other thing, uh, the other feature on this machine is the drop shelf. You can tilt it forward. It's a stainless steel drop shelf. Uh, you tilt it forward to allow you a little more access and room in the cabinet here uh, to, to get access to the corn when you're, you're scooping it out using your corn measure, I mean corn scoop, to scoop out the corn. The other thing in here, the perforated screen I had mentioned earlier, I'm going to let it remove it here real quick just so you can see it before it starts popping. You can see all the little holes here and then some larger set of holes in the, in the middle here. The little holes are going to allow that warm air to, to circulate through that corn to keep it dry and crispy. This area here uh, is to allow the small pieces of corn and the unpopped kernels to drop into the clean out drawer. There are handles on the screen which will allow you to remove it and to reinstall it into place. The larger holes, as I had mentioned, when we go to sift this corn here, when I'll show you when we have some corn in here, when you stick your corn measure in here and you start sifting the corn through here, all those small pieces and, and any unpopped kernels will fall into this clean out drawer so that you could uh, throw that in the garbage instead of serving it to your customers. I can hear the kettle starting to pop. We're at about 295 degrees right now. The other thing I want to show here is just the uh, filter that we have in here. It's a disposable filter. Uh, that'll filter that steam that's being generated right now, the steam and the oils. It'll filter this through the filter and out the top of the machine. We're at about 316 degrees here. I'm going to go ahead and tilt this drop shelf forward just in case uh, any corn pops over that will capture all of it and keep it in the cabinet. Once the corn starts popping and the popcorn starts pushing up on this lid, we have an automatic cover lift, lift mechanism up on top which once the kettle lid gets above the lip of the pan about an inch or so, the mechanism up on top is going to allow that cover to jump up all the way and allow the corn to expand and dispense into the cabinet. That's going to allow for maximum expansion of the corn. We, that, we kept that lid down uh, and the corn would push up and, and press down on it. It would start breaking up the corn uh, and reducing your, your, your expansion. So the key on here is to once it starts popping, we want to get it out of the kettle as quickly as possible. And the automatic cover lift system will allow that to happen. Right now we're at about almost 380 degrees. Once we hit 390 degrees here, that's our set point, you'll see this indicator light shut off. That tells us that the heat's shut off. Right now there's still enough residual heat there to finish off the cycle. You can hear it starting to slow down. And again, we want that indicator light to shut off about 10 to 20 seconds before we're dumping the kettle. Now this first cycle might be off a little bit because the kettle temperatures haven't stabilized, but if I were to do another popping on it, again, we'd be looking for that light to shut off about 10 to 20 seconds before we're dumping it. Starting to slow down a little bit more. 
Once it finishes popping, you want to grab your dump handle right here, this handle right here, this knob, and then you can pull down on the kettle and you just want to invert it. That'll allow all the corn to, uh, to drop inside the kettle. You don't need to bang on it uh, a lot. You just want to turn it upside down. Okay, you can see all the corn fall out of the kettle. Bring it back up to the level position. If I were to do another uh, popping at this point, I would go ahead and put my corn inside the kettle first, go ahead and deliver my oil, and then close the lid. Since I'm not going to pop anymore, you always want to make sure you shut your kettle heat switch off and shut your agitator switch off. You don't need to leave that on. You also want to close the lid. You can see right now, since the kettle's really hot, there's some residual oil still left on the pan. Air is getting in there. It's allowing it to, to steam and smoke. By closing the lid, you're going to re reduce that smoke. It's not going to, uh, air is not going to get in there and it's not going to smoke as bad. So you always want to close the lid when you're done popping. Now you want to go ahead and sift your corn. You're going to take your corn scoop. And when you start sifting the corn, you don't want to jab or just go right into the corn because you're going to start hacking at it and start breaking it up. And again, that's going to reduce the, 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 the quality of the corn because it's, you're going to have a lot of small pieces. So what you want to do, you always want to take your scoop down to the metal, to that perforated screen, and then go ahead and sift the corn over that opening, over that area there where the large holes are. And you can hear some of those unpopped kernels. And of course, the small pieces of corn are going to drop into that clean-out drawer. So you just want to sift that around there a little bit. Once you've done that, go ahead and push the corn forward to the front glass. Go ahead and close your drop shelf. And of course, you want to make sure you close your plexiglass doors to allow the conditioner to work a little more efficiently in keeping that corn dry. You also have the clean-out drawer I had mentioned. Let me just show you. You can see some of those unpopped kernels and, and the small pieces of corn. You're going to want to remove that depending on the usage of the machine, maybe once or two or three times a day. If the machine is being used quite extensively or heavily, you definitely want to try to get that out and, and throw out the unpopped kernels and any small pieces out of that drawer. Those are the uh, steps needed to set up your Mach 5 machine and the proper sequence and, and for the popping of the machine. If you do have any questions, please contact our offices at 1-800-228-1885 or email me at akarkowski at creators.com.